Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. With the recent release of Supercell's new beta Everdale, a lot of people have already started playing and are progressing fast. So in this video, we're going to be going over a beginner guide so we can get you caught up as fast as possible. And if you want to stay up to date on everything Everdale from tips, tricks, or anything related to it, make sure you like and subscribe because we're going to be playing this game and uploading a bunch. If you do want to play this game and you're having a hard time finding it in your app store, well there's only certain locations that it's actually released for the beta. For iOS users, you're going to need to change your Apple ID to one of the locations listed here. Android, you have a little bit simpler, just use a VPN and voila. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial, there's tons of videos online. If you're interested in making purchases inside the game, like the starter pack, for example, which I find is a great deal, but you're on iOS and it's giving you all sorts of errors and reasons why you can't get it, simply go into the Apple ID you downloaded the game from, change that credentials to the normal ones that you would typically use, and you'll be able to make those purchases. All right, enough about all the art stuff. Let's talk about the core gameplay itself. Obviously, this game is all about upgrading your village, joining a valley, and making your valley the best inside the game. So your number one priority should be trying to get as many villagers as you can. When going in your study, there's tons of different routes you can go, but you always wanna focus on the one that's gonna to lead to those builder houses first. One of the worst things you can see when logging in is something in red. It either means it's full to the max or somebody's hungry. And one of the things you should do is always have one villager in the pumpkin patch making food at the beginning. This way, there'll be a constant flow of everybody getting a chance to eat and and you won't have any downtime. When gathering resources like wood, clay, or stone, your villager has to take those resources and bring them back over to the storage. So if you're finding yourself in a far distance away from it, simply drag your storage over as close as possible and this will save you a bunch of time. Really, time management is one of the biggest things inside this game. Eventually, you'll unlock the Evergrove, which is going to give you a continuous supply of wood if you have a villager on it. But if you're just staring at your screen, this is not the thing you want to be using. You actually want to go over and chop the trees down around you. When you're on the Evergrove, you get about one and a half logs before your villager needs to go back and grab more soup. If you're harvesting from the forest, you're going to get about three logs before he goes to get soup. And this applies for the other resources as well. When using nectar to boost your troops, make sure you got all of them busy at all times. If there's ever a moment that you see a downtime, make sure you're using the pause button. Although it's even a minute, saving those couple of seconds can really help you out. And let's be honest, nectar is not easy to come across. When you join a valley, you have nine other people that are playing the game with you. And where your mindset might be to make your village better than theirs, you wanna lose this immediately. Your main goal at this point is to help out everybody and try to make your valley the best inside the game. Yes, I know money is hard to come across, but going and spending it in there is going to be so much more rewarding because you're gonna get new things inside your valley, which is going to help your village, and you're also going to get hearts, which is going to give you a ton of great rewards. And speaking of gold, a great way to get some is from Otto. Now, a little tip that I like to do is I like to scan everything that Otto needs, and I like to get it all stored up. Before I go to bed, I cash in, and then I get my workers going, and by the time I wake up in the morning, I'll be replenished on my wood, clay, or whatever else that I spent. So guys, this is our beginner guide. I don't wanna go too far in depth. We'll come back with a middle intermediate guide and then an advanced guide. So if you wanna see those, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, I pick my butt.